flow of vehicles on the Cipularang Toll Road from Bandung to Jakarta is observed to be heavy. The long backflow of vehicles occurred two days ago since the afternoon. The long holiday backflow of vehicles start to occur on the 11th of February in the afternoon. The density of vehicle traffic was monitored at kilometer 79 around the Marachang area, Purwakarta. In other areas, flash floods due to overflowing rivers in Sumbawa district and Tebe hits residential houses. Four houses were reported to have been swept away by current, while thousands of residents' houses were submerged in floodwaters as high as 2 meters. This is an amateur video from residents showing the fast current of the Brown Biji River, Sumbawa Regency. Aduh, kasihan. The strong fast food Friday 9 February at 15.30 Central Indonesia time caused one of the four houses to be swept away. The flood caused 149 houses to be submerged with a maximum water level of 2 meters. Likewise, floods hit the Jakarta area precisely in front of the Pertamina Kuribeta gas station Ciledug, Banten, which result in a number of areas being flooded, cutting of access from one area to another. Flood heads in the range of 50 until 70 cm in a feedable paralyzed access, which connects the Ciledug and Kabayoran Lama areas. So Jakarta. A number of motorbike and car drivers had to turn around to find alternatives to avoid flooding at the connecting access to the Ciledug Jakarta areas. We turn to the struggle behind election. The Indonesian Navy is preparing defense equipment ready to be involved in the distribution of election logistics for the Eastern Indonesian region. Koarmada 3 has supported several elements of its warships in helping distribute election logistics to frontier and remote islands in the Papua and Maluku regions. Meanwhile, to unload all election logistics from the ship, small boats or speedboats belonging to the TNI post will be assisted because not all docks are adequate for large ships to be berthed. Other information related to election based on expert observation also states that election in Indonesia are the shortest in the world. This is mean in the context of voting time which only 6 hours from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. local time and Indonesia is the most complicated election implementation in the world. In this election, said Hashim, the KPU also invited foreign parties to participate in monitoring the progress of the Democratic Party in the election visit program. According to him, this global interest is not only limited to the voting process at TPS, but also the desire to dig deeper into the election system and management in Indonesia. <laughs>